Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video. Today's video is going to be kind of like a historic video, I guess you could say, how wall hacks were created for the very first time on Combat Arms. Um, I wanted to make this video because a lot of people have forgotten the history and have gotten so used to the game engine tools that they kind of forgot about all the hexadecimal modding in like HXD that we used to do for making things like rapid fire and um, wall hacks and a whole bunch of stuff. And I wanted to go back to July of 2010 when GT Boy 4 and I released our first sets of wall hacks and how we did it. So I'm going to show you from start to finish how we did it. Uh, well, maybe not start to finish because that might be a little bit annoying with some of the knowledge that we have now. But there's going to be no use of the render styles editor, no use of any of the lith tech tools, um, except WinRes LT because it's just easier. And I'm going to show you guys how we did it. So the very first thing that we did was back in the day, we had the basic tools. So we went through our mod tools and we had res extract. So I'm going to open up res extract and I'm going to extract this rs.res, which I think I can drag, oh, you can't. That would have been a neat feature. I don't know how to add it, or I would. So you simply, we simply extracted the rs.res and we got to work. One thing that was very smart about GT Boy 4 on Game Killer was he was going through here and he saw things like through wall, um, additive no call with glow, uh, there's some other things like glow, glass, hot coals, inner glow, glow ghost, whole bunch of stuff. There's transparent, translucent, all these LTB files. What GT Boy 4 did that was very smart was he opened additive through wall in a hex editor, and then he opened default in a hex editor. And he compared the two side by side. So like if I want to do, uh, I don't remember how to do this in here. It's been too long. There we go. So he put these right next to each other and he looked at the differences. So right away, what you can see is major differences in these files. So here's default.ltb, the first line already different than additive through wall, which is over here. And one of these days, I do plan on doing a live stream where we go through and we modify byte for byte and test these files to see what we can do as far as hexadecimal modding again, because I've done some things with hexadecimal that I've never been able to do in the actual game engine tools. And I wanna go through and figure out some of those things again. But all this data, he, GT Boy 4 went through, figured out byte for byte, which one did what for making it visible through walls, gave players color, um, all that jazz. And the one awesome thing was he gave us a hint of this. Uh, I forget the other guy that I was working with at the time, but we set to work and we figured it out as well. And the very simple answer to actually making wall hacks back in 2010 was we took additive through wall, we copied it to a new folder, we put it in the new folder, that was really fast, I didn't mean to do it that fast, wow. And then we went through the folder, we duplicated this about 60 some times and started naming them. So we started naming them additive. default translucent and we named it every single file that is in the rs.res and then we re-inject them to rs.res and when we had the full list finally complete and re-injected them into rs.res went in game we had wall hacks that's how we did it back in the day and then after a while things started to get more advanced we started learning more and more about the hexadecimal modding and I have a whole like 40 some minute video showcasing a lot of the wall hacks, a lot of the chams I've ever made. A very good example of a cham that I made that was actually done with hexadecimal rather than, uh, whatchamacallit, rather than 
the render style editor is actually the Chrome Super Smash Bros. Chams. So unfortunately the video is taken down, but I have a live stream that I did. They're basically shiny players, very shiny players. I have no way to know how it was done or created. Um, I don't know why I'm so tired and why I just yawned. I've been holding back the yawn this entire video. But I made the res chams here. These were done with a hex editor. They were not done with the render style editor. And I, to this day, I don't know how I did it. And I'd like to figure it out again. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I wanted to put out some history of uh, combat arms modding. And because I wanted to try uploading to my damn channel again. Because I don't know if I can upload yet. And that's why I've been live streaming so much. So I'll talk to you guys later. Let's hope this uploads. And... See you all soon. Peace out.